Welcome to the Indigo 500 video series. In this first video we will replace HMT330 transmitter with the Indigo 500 series transmitter. And here we have HMT337 with the 10 meter probe. And uh, the dismounting starts by uh, switching off the power and uh, removing the cables and now the spot now the power is switched off so it's time to open up the lid lid is open and here we can see we may have different type of modules here in HMT330 but in this model we have uh, extra analog output channel 3 so we have relative humidity temperature and this uh, extra output output is outputting uh, dew point temperature and then we have also a power cable separate power cable and this is providing uh, 20 vo 24 volts DC to the transmitter. So now that we have disconnected the power, it's safe to remove these cables. Then it's time to take the transmitter off from the wall. Okay, it's removed. Then it's time to take a look what uh, kind of uh, stuff we need to replace this product. So here we have two packages, Indigo transmitter and uh, HMP7. Let's see what we have inside. So first this transmitter package we have a quick guide and now that I'm replacing HMT330 I have ordered this Indigo with the mounting plate and uh, these holes have the same footprint as uh, HMT330, so it's very convenient to use the same holes and uh, screws for mounting the transmitter in the same place. And uh, here we have the transmitter. I have configured it for one probe only because I'm replacing uh, HMT330. I could have two probes. And, uh, it's supporting that feature and then there's also this uh, probe cable so now this uh, previous HMT330 had 10 meter probe cable so I can either uh, select this as longer cable or order this uh, HMT, HMP7 with the longer cable depending on the application and the temperature this uh, probe cable is uh, going in and uh, then we have also the uh, mounting accessories for the transmitter. And from the probe package we can find a quick guide and a calibration certificate. And uh, then the probe itself. So this is detachable probe. I don't have to remove the whole transmitter next time I'm going to calibrate this instrument. It's enough to send this for calibration and uh, I can leave the Indigo 500 transmitter on the wall. Okay, let's put, put these in place and uh, start the installation. We will start the mounting by placing this mounting plate 
on the wall. And as I said, this has the same footprint as uh, HMT330, so I can place it the, in the same place as the previous transmitter and uh, use even the old screws for for this. Then it's time to install the transmitter on this mounting plate. And in this accessories back, I have the needed keys to open the lid and uh, also to uh, mount this transmitter on this mounting plate with uh, these machine screws. So I'll just drop this in, so it's easier to put it in place. Let's have a look what we have here inside. If we look at the lead part first, here is the Ethernet socket that we can use to uh, configure this device with our uh, computer, for example. So it has an uh, internal web server that we can operate through, uh, wire, uh, through Ethernet. And uh, in this, uh, this base PCB, we have a PELV version because the uh, previous model, this uh, HMT330, was uh, operating with uh, 24 volts DC and that's why we have selected also 24 volts here because we are doing a replacement so the uh, power cable comes to the uh, top right corner where we have terminals for plus and minus and then we have also this uh, device ground which can be connected optionally but uh, this uh, HMT330, we didn't have the device ground connected. Then we have two relays. We can select uh, if it's normally opened or normally closed. And uh, two ports for probes. And this time we are connecting only one probe here, as the HMT330 has had only one probe. And then we have four analog output channels and uh, these are active channels as was with the HM3 330 series so you don't need to do any changes in the automation system. A bonus compared to HMT 330 is that these are galvanically isolated so it will uh, minimize any loop issues that may happen for example in uh, harsh industrial environments and uh, especially in marine applications for example. Okay, so let's just do the wiring.
Okay, and we can now close the lid. To complete the installation, we need to mount this probe. So one option is to place it near the transmitter and uh, I'll show how to do that. So I have this accessories bag with the two clips. So let's drill a hole here. Mounting clips are now in place. So let's put this in place. And finally we can connect the probe to the transmitter. Indigo 500 recognized the probe automatically and I can see relative humidity and temperature on the display. Final thing is to configure this uh, software so that it's similar as with the 330 series. In the display we had three different values, relative humidity, temperature and uh, also dew point temperature, so that's the first thing we want to add here. So home views and uh, parameter 3, we select, uh, we select dew point temperature. Like that. And here we have the dew point temperature value also. And then we need to configure the analog outputs to match with 330 series so that the automation system will have the same readout. Let's go to output, analog outputs. Output mode is 4 to 20 milliamps. And output 1, this is for relative humidity. Hmm. Actually, first I need to set the value. Let's say that the error output is 3.6 milliamps. And uh, output 1 we can now set to relative humidity. And uh, this was from 0 to 100. Output number two was temperature, and this was from zero to one hundred and twenty. And output three is uh, dew point temperature. And here we have uh, from minus 20 to 100. That's it. We're all set. Installation complete. We have replaced this old HMT337 with Indigo 520. And we have also additional features 
such as galvanic isolation and uh, detachable probes. So in future it's much more easier to send these devices to, for calibration. And we have the same functionality functionalities as with the 337. All the same parameters and so on. Thanks for watching.